Right now, Hurricane Dorian continues to slam the Bahamas. This is dramatic amateur video capturing the Category 4 storm. Life-threatening winds sweeping through the island. There are also reports of houses and cars completely surrounded by flood water or under flood water. Here in the Atlanta area, Joe Henke talked with Bahamians who are trying to stay in touch with their friends and family back home, Joe. That's pretty tough. It is after hurricane. The hurricane damaged the Bahamas for hour after hour. Power outages are now making it difficult for people to stay in touch with their friends and family back on the islands. This afternoon, I talked with Alexis Reeves. Her mother's, si mother's side of the family is from the Bahamas. She's a first generation American with cousins and many friends who live on several of the islands making up the Bahamas. As the storm made landfall, Reeves received video showing destroyed homes and businesses, the strong winds, rain and flooded neighborhoods. Then the messages stopped. Reeves tells me widespread power outages have cut off communication using Wi-Fi. Reeves knows some of her family is safe, but others she is simply praying for. The people that I'm able to reach out to, I still haven't, um, I still haven't heard from some people. And that's what I'm worried about is the people I haven't heard from. That's, that's my biggest concern. Reeves tells me many of her family members and friends count on tourism for an income. She's worried widespread damage will discourage people from traveling to the islands for some time, and she doesn't know how they will survive without tourists visiting. And from hundreds of miles away, Reeves tells me she feels helpless tonight. She doesn't know what she can do to help her loved ones, but she is hopeful she will soon hear from those that she hasn't been able to talk with yet. And make sure